why, yes, we're back again with another episode of Bartender Hustle. Welcome back, everybody, to Summit Hotel, where we are literally serving drinks in the freaking sky. It's kind of awesome, if I do have to say so myself. And we've met some nice people, and by the way, here's a flight attendant that we've met in the last episode. Hello, Yasmin. That could probably be our protagonist Protagonist in, in, the, in our next uh, flight attendant. Well, when flight attendant hustle does come out, and this could be us in the future. Isn't that quite lovely? Glad to see you again, uh, bartender. Well, welcome back. What can I get for you? Uh, I'll take a cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan this time, please. One come in right up. absolutely. freaking lootly There we go. Oh, let's pull up this. And then let's add, uh, yeah, ice to the shaker. God, remember yes, like, I say yesterday, but I don't even know when you'll watch this. But <laughs> at least in the last episode, oh my god, dude, there was, like, one drink. I forgot which drink it was, but I, I actually, like, threw up in my mouth because of how, no, it was, like, it was, like, the easiest drink. It was a margarita. Yeah, I think it was the margarita, right? Because it took me three tries to, to get the margarita to actually uh, work it and to actually make it apparently drinkable. So that was a little embarrassing. I will say so myself. Let's go ahead and do that right in front of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You love it. Uh, pour it out. And then uh, just add a little bit of a lemon twist and we're ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, as we're going through this uh, series here, I will say, I don't know how much longer there will be for this series, uh, especially for this story here. I assume this is kind of like a mini-series, if anything, and I'm really enjoying it regardless. I love listening to the stories. I love interacting with the characters. I love just uh, seeing what the story is all about. So, very nice. You make it look easy. Just part of the job. Uh, so, what do you usually do on your layovers? Oh, during the day. Yeah, like, uh, you know, when you're not at the bar. Well, I go where the wind takes me. And where does the wind take you today? I spent a few hours at the pool after breakfast, and then I had a date in the city. You Wait a sec, you're a flight attendant who does layovers and have a date? That smells like a tender one-night stand. Oh, yeah? How, do your, how did your date go? It was a success. That's it, no details? Some good set. Some good sex is just as effective as strong dose of morphine. All right. Never heard of it that way, but that's one way to put it. Is that what they taught you in the flight attendant academy? They might as well have. You know, they train the pilots to expect bad things to happen, so when something bad happens, it's easier to deal with. Interesting. Uh, do you drink? Of course I do. Well, why, don't, why do you drink? Uh, I have to know my craft well. Why do you drink? Why do you drink? Kind of a fun supplement to use when getting to know someone. How about another one? Yeah, absolutely. What can I get you? Give me the magic spell. Oh, baby, she wants it to go up in flames. That's what she wants. Yeah, it smelled like a, a, a tender date. It did. <laughs> I'm not going to beat around the bush on that one. It did sound like a booty call, and she's like, I'm in it. And apparently that's exactly what it was. It's like, you know, flight attendants going city to city, uh, getting paid good bucks. Cause, let's be honest, flight attendants do get paid handsomely. Yeah, they do get paid handsomely, and, um, you know, who, who wouldn't want to go city to city and get some tail? <laughs> well, in this case, she would, uh, get whatever the opposite of, of tail is for a female. Uh, uh, a pole? Uh, a straw? I have no idea. Maybe she goes for the small, medium, or large straw. I don't know which one she's going for there. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I mean, that'd be a pretty cool lifestyle, right? Uh, I would love to be a flight attendant. I think I'd be a fun flight attendant, except um, I, I think it would just be exhausting. Um, not the whole service thing. I think the exhausting part would be going up and down on the plane. Uh, it's for some reason, like I have some bad vertigo. Uh, I never used to when I was, a, you know, when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I, I do now and it's, it's terrible. It hits me hard sometimes. I even get vertigo sometimes in my, when I wake up from... Like, I accidentally give myself vertigo out of the, like, just waking up in the morning. And so, uh, you know, when you go up and down on a plane and uh, I get all lightheaded, I get all weird. So, I would love to do it, just, I, I, I can't. I, I, I just would be miserable all the time. Well, hello, Paige. Hello again, bartender. Hi, nice to meet, uh, nice to see you. Uh, can I start you off with something? Yes, I'd like a tequila sunrise. Come in right up, sweetheart. Uh, there's a good chance that we have at least, um... There's a good chance that we have served every single, oh no, uh, tequila, please, yeah, tequi tequila. There's a good chance that we've served, served every single drink in this game, possibly, I don't know. I don't, I I'm gonna keep my eye out though today, 
see if there's anything different going on. A little bit of orange juice. There we go. 90 milliliters. I don't know where else we can go. I feel like this is like honestly the best of the best, right? Where else? What else is better than serving drinks 50 freaking stories up in the sky? We're literally in the stars, like serving drinks. I feel like this is like the high life. Like this, this is, this is mingling with the damn near rich people. That's when you know you made it. <laughs> I don't know. Put some garnishes on that drink and shut the hell up. Uh, orange wheel. Fantastic. And a medium straw to go along with it. Absolutely. There you go. And give that to Paige. Oh, yeah. She's the one that says, like, I, you know, I hate coming with my boyfriend because I'm all by myself. I'll be honest with you, sweetheart. Whoever your boyfriend is is leaving you behind and uh, not giving you any attention. He should probably check himself before he does wreck himself. Uh, you're welcome. So how was your day? I couldn't get to sleep last night, so I spent most of the day napping. Why? What kept you up? My boyfriend, he snores. I actually came back to the bar sometime after midnight to see if it was still open. I thought maybe you'd still be here. Oh, yeah, sorry. We close about an hour after midnight. It's okay. I walked around the hotel for a while. You see some interesting things in a hotel at 3 in the morning. Like what? Oh, you know, obnoxious drunks on their way back from a night out, half-dressed girls knocking on hotel room doors. I helped the pizza delivery guy find a hotel room. Did you score some free pizza at least? Uh, no, he only had one pizza, but I kind of felt like I fulfilled the quest by doing it. After a couple of hours of wandering around, I went back to bed, but I only got a half-decent sleep. Now, let's be honest, he, she said uh, half-naked girls, and then she went on to say the delivery pizza man. This could have been an accidental 3 a.m. porno set that she could have stumbled across on with the pizza delivery guy, but, you know, she, she maybe she'll let us know here in a sec. What kind of pizza was it, by the way? I don't know. I never asked. Why? I was just wondering. So, how did you end up as a bartender? Well, I kind of stumbled into it. Had to do something to pay the bills, and I wound, wound up doing this. Well, that's lucky. I mean, if you enjoy it, of course. I do enjoy it. I think it's what I'll continue doing going forward. How about another drink? Yeah, sure. What can I get you? Uh, I'll take a martini French. Oh, a martini French. I don't think we've done that one. No, I don't think we have. And this is very common. Even, like, where I live, um, like, I've countless, countless, like, countless of times I've seen uh, people go off to college, do their college thing, because maybe their parents are like, you gotta go to college, you gotta go to college. And then they go to college, and then they come back home, and they're like, yo, what I just did for, like, four years sucks, mainly because... I did not enjoy it, even though it sounded good on paper. I ultimately did not enjoy it. And or uh, they graduated and turns out that what they're going for, uh, and maybe to be mindful, anybody going for a degree right now, uh, turns out what they went for uh, has like zero market, uh, you know, job market. Everybody, is, everybody wants to do the same thing and there's only so many jobs that can, can fulfill that one uh, specific job. Your job market might be very limited, so it might be extremely hard to find a job uh, for what you're studying. Just always keep that in mind. So what do they do? They come back and they become waitresses. They become waiters. Hell, they even become bartenders. And the tips that they make uh, just by waitressing and waitering, it's it, 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 it's it, it's exciting, right? And then you have your co-workers, and then you guys are like a family, and then you guys get a little bit of munchy munchy and then you guys promote it to your other friends and your friends always come and they always hang out at the restaurant or the bar they tip handsomely it's a it's a good well circle uh, uh eco economy like a local <laughs> like it's a good friendship economy thing i don't know thanks that really was nice uh you're welcome i'm glad you enjoy it by the way what do you do for a living i'm still trying to figure out that part of my life right now maybe i'd be more motivated if i had to <laughs> if i had some bills to pay but my boyfriend takes care of everything oh well Lucky you, Paige. Uh, damn. You could try something artistic. You must have a real sense of curiosity if you spend so much time confined to a hotel room. Well, I like to draw. I've been drawing since I was a kid. It keeps me occupied. My boyfriend doesn't give much uh, encouragement, though. Really? Why not? I, I don't know. Maybe he's just too immersed in his work. Last week, I showed him a picture I drew. He just sort of looked over the... Uh, look the way... Uh, look the over... Wait, what? He sort of looked over... He looked the other, oh, <laughs> he sort of just looked the other way in silence. All he does is talk about work. Well, I'd be happy to see your drawing at least. Really? I have it in my purse. Here it is. Oh my God. That is wonderful. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, butterfly. Do you want to be an artist? Would you like to be Pam, Pam Helper? Or would you like to be a tattoo artist? Because, you know, all these things are possible. You could be a receptionist that likes to draw. 
or you can be a tattoo artist. And that's really nice. I like it. Thanks. I don't usually annoy or I don't show anyone my artwork. You should. You're good at it. Can't expect everyone to pay attention. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, can I get another drink? Sure. What is that? I'll have a spritz. Certainly. One spritz coming up. Yeah, that was actually really good. Oh, this guy's back. The doctor, dude. The doctor, I think, has a thing for me. Let's... I mean, well, maybe not. He... Maybe I have a thing for the doctor. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not the doctor has a thing for me, but I have a thing for the doctor. I don't know. The way that uh, Amy was talking to... Um, what's his face? John at the nightclub. I was getting a little worried. I think it was John. Maybe it was somebody else. But she was hitting on somebody. I was like, Amy, pull... Pull back the brakes, sweetheart. We're not we're not in this together. I operate you. Um, you might do the action, but I have to watch you do the action. That's that's the that's I, 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 that's the problem here. I uh, put an orange wheel on top of that with a nice little small straw. Fantastic. And then oh god, don't serve it to him, but serve it to her. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, hello, Marcus. How are you? Hello again, bartender. Hi. Welcome back. Can I start you off with something? Let's get a pale ale beer coming right up as well. Yeah, look over here, look to the right, look to the left, and we find the pale ale, and we pour this out for him. I like the beer ones. This is simple. All I have to do is hold down the button, and then it just finishes itself. It's pretty easy. There you go. Uh, perfect, indeed. Hey, thanks for that. This should keep me going uh, for another few hours. If it doesn't, I can call the front desk to book you a room. Uh, maybe I'll take you up on that offer. I'm already used to sleeping wherever I can manage to get some shun eye. Oh yeah, like where? During my time as a paramedic, I once fell asleep in the back of an ambulance. Did they fire you? No, I was lucky enough to be alone with an unconscious patient. I woke, I awoke just as we were pulling into the hospital. No harm done, I guess. After that, I started getting sleep whenever the opportunity arises. It's developed into somewhat of a virtue. I can shut my eyes and recharge pretty much whenever I want. I would love to have that ability, my man. Do you snore? Sometimes, or so I've been told. Yo. Are you Paige's boyfriend? Hmm, maybe. You're not sure? I've been forced awake a few times. You're not Paige's boyfriend, are you? Are you? He's working all the time, 12 hours a day. He's out with his colleagues. This might be Paige's boyfriend. By what? And uh, by a not nice person that doesn't want to hear me snore. That's a traumatic event to put someone through, forcing them to awake like that. You could have been having a nice dream too. Yeah, I know. And I was having a nice dream. What kind of dream? I was building a giant sandcastle on the beach at night with one of my college professors. What? But some sadistic little kid kept running over and damaging it? Why were you doing that with your college professor there, Amy? Uh, that doesn't sound too far off from reality. But this was a giant sandcastle we were building. Hundreds of feet tall. Uh, like nothing you've seen before. It definitely would have made the news. <laughs> You're, what didn't they have a show about that long time ago in the early 2000s maybe later 2000s where like they like, like some people would go out to the beach and they, they would like craft these incredible sand castles i think there was a tv show about that um your dreams are often a reflection of your own experiences maybe there was something you were trying to accomplish in life but something was getting in your way i kind of am afraid of that because most of my dreams have, are nightmares in real life but that's beside the fact yeah, I was trying to accomplish uh, getting a full night of sleep. Well, you seem well rested. How about another one? Sure, we're going to get you. Uh, how about a silver bullet? You got it. One silver bullet come up. Yes, uh, nightmares do get me uh, all the time. Um, and it's not like multiple like random stuff nightmares. It's the same nightmare over and over and over and actually over. It's terrifying. And I hate it. But I do have PTSD, so you know that 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 that's something that really uh, affects me on a daily, especially a nightly thing. So 30 milliliters, and yes, I've been diagnosed with it. I had to go to a doctor. I had to do this. I had to do that. I had to go to therapy. It was, uh, yeah, night nighttime is a hard time for for big old forehead here. Uh, you know. It's amazing how how I have the energy to, to get myself and to do all these videos all the time and streams and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I'm here. Don't worry about it. Uh, Marcus, there you go, my good man. Nice one, indeed. Well, hello there, Rachel. Bartender, hello. Well, hello. Welcome back to the summit. Can I start, uh, start you off with a drink? Why, well, yes, of course. Rum and Coke, please. Okay, one rum and Coke coming right up. I should not have to like member like no not memories I shouldn't have to look at this this is, should be at least one drink out of all the drinks that we do this should be one drink that I actually memorize because 
this is a very common thing in real life at least between my my you know my friends and all that um they 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 really get down with this one now i went to a hotel and the hotel had coke and or rum and coke coke and rum whatever you want to call it um coke and rum and what they did is they had a you know you could get it how you're getting it here with no lime and then like behind the the thing there was like a big machine it was a icy machine that you would find at your local like circle k 7-eleven and it was a coke and rum icy machine or slushy machine it was, like it was fantastic this is what happens when i talk um yeah so there was a slushy machine that was a uh, coke and rum it was pretty great and i know it doesn't sound impressive look it doesn't sound impressive uh me saying it but trust me if you saw it in real life you'd be like yeah i'm aboard let's do it right yeah absolutely especially in a hotel where uh mostly you're kind of just enjoying life as it is and so with that enjoyment very very simple uh you're gonna enjoy a bunch of slushies or ices whatever you want to call them is there a difference between slushies and ices i don't know I, I actually don't know that. Lime wheel, sorry. I think I picked a lemon wheel. Lime wheel, there you go. And then a medium straw. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Fantastic. Perfect. Love to see it. Excellent. Thanks. How was your day? I don't know. Uh, one of my employees started crying today. Really? Why? Oh, yeah. She's the, like, kind of, like, she's kind of a bitch. Um, some people just buckle under pressure. They just can't take the heat. Life can throw some curveballs. I guess we all have our own problems to deal with. Yeah, well, my stores are losing sales, and our corporate Im image sucks. You work at Cloud9? Sorry, I just have to vent sometimes. You don't mind, do you? No, it's okay. So, how long have you lived here? Five years. But I moved here. I managed over 100 stores on the East Coast. That's a lot of responsibility. It's all relative. The higher you go, the more you can delegate. I have to focus on calling the big shots. That's real pressure, actually. You have family? Kids? No. Uh, my ex-boyfriend wanted to have kids. That was years ago. I wasn't ready. I had to focus on my career. You had to or you chose to? Let's uh, let's rephrase that there, Rachel. Uh, what about now? Now? I could handle a kid now. Not with the sack of crap, though. Not with that sack of crap. I started seeing someone new after I broke up with him. I ignored his calls every day. I feel like it wasn't his fault. I feel like it was your fault. Seems like the proper thing to do, but one morning I answered his call by mistake when I was still half asleep. What did he say? I miss you, I love you, I want to be in your bed, but then it got really weird. I hung up and changed my number after that, and I haven't heard from him since. What a weirdo. Why are we bashing on this guy? He wanted to have kids, and she didn't, and she'd rather focus on his career. Is that his fault? Except one day I came home from work, and I knew something wasn't right. How so? My door was unlocked. Okay, now this is definitely a weirdo. Some of my clothes were missing. Documents were scattered all over the place. He broke into your apartment? It wasn't until after a few minutes that I remembered he still had my spare apartment key from back when we were dating. Yeah, okay, maybe he is a weirdo. What a creep. He's lucky I wasn't there when he showed up. I would have ripped him a new one. Yeah, I believe it. Bartender, make me something else, please. I would like a Malibu Bay Breeze. I'll take it. Very well. Okay, very good. You know, I was actually standing up for the guy until the guy, like, decided to, like, go all uh, predatory on her. Like, I, that's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't condone his action. Uh, coconut rum? Yeah, 60 milliliters of coconut rum. I believe we've done this drink before. Cranberry juice, yeah. There we go, 60 milliliters. I think it's safe to say that we've done every drink, right? I said that in the beginning of the episode, but I, I, I'm starting to feel like it is. This is definitely a drink I would like to drink. Uh, this is a drink that sounds very good. It's a drink that sounds very refreshing. Sign me up for this one, dude. Is there any garnishes that we haven't done? Raspberries. We haven't done raspberries, so maybe there is a drink out there that we haven't done. Because we haven't done a raspberry, and we haven't done a long straw. There we go. And a cocktail umbrella to go along with that. There you go. That's a hell of a drink. There you go. Wonderful. Ah, good stuff. Thanks. Do you ever get mad? Um, yeah, I guess sometimes. What do you get mad at? Oh, you know, I've been known to slam my fist on the table when my laptop is running slow. You never yell at anyone? I mean, when I was a kid, I used to have quite a temper. Whenever I did something nice for someone, they just turn around and stab me in the back. But that was way in the past. Don't you ever get annoying customers? You never get mad at them? Nah, I get a mixed bag of customers, but I guess I've just learned to take it all in stride. Mm. Everything okay? I'm out of here. Give me give me one more. I couldn't give a crap what it is. All right, sure. Can I just give her an ale? Oh, she what? <laughs> I don't care what it is. All right, so 
we say, you know, challenge, you don't care what you're getting, then in this case, you're going to get a friggin' flame. That's what you're going to get. 30 milliliters of vodka, please, and I'm going to light this bitch on fire. How you like that? Uh, overproof? That's the wrong one. Overproof? That's not overproof. Overproof rum? 15 milliliters of that, please. 18 is fine. Uh, and then we hit it with the, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which... No, no, no. Sorry. We hit it with the creme. Creme de violeta. Violet. Violet. How much is this? Oh, 30. And then we hit it with the uh, black concurrent, please. Where's the black concurrent? There it is. Fantastic. And then a small straw. And then light it up. And let's get it going, right? There we go. Shake it in front of her. Love to see it. And then pour it out. I actually do like this drink. It looks cool. This is a drink that I would sh probably try. And then I would probably struggle. <laughs> To finish maybe i don't know it seems pretty intense especially i mean it has to be intense if you're lighting this thing on fire there you go one dollar tip fantastic that was a wonderful day uh 547 dollars in our bank account and we could buy anything we ever wanted i guess in this game i wish there was more to buy i do say i think i mentioned that yesterday but we're in the hotel it's not like we could do anything else anyways uh ninja oh ninja's still on the bed looking out the window oh well, hello ninja her Maybe I could bring you into work sometime. I think you'd be popular. This is like Sabrina. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's that show called? Uh, Teenage Sabrina Witch thing. She's the black cat. Sabrina the Witch. I have no idea. I, it, Disney Channel. Ah, I think it was Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I got it. Fantastic. Send me back to the hotel. I think that's what it was, right? Sabrina the te Teenage Witch. Oh, Marcus. Marcus is back here. 1021 p.m. Hello, Marcus. Hey, bartender. Hello. Welcome back. What can I get for you? I'd like a screwdriver, please. Make it double time. Good. All right. This is a fairly easy drink to get to as well. Ice. Ice baby with a little bit of 60 milliliter of vodka. And then basically just make it orange after this. Like the vodka does what it does. But then it just needs like a giant just send of orange juice. So like, can someone like I know it's nighttime, but... Can I, like, work in the morning time and then maybe, like, serve up some mimosas? Can we do some of that? <laughs> Can we get all the soccer moms out here? I'd rather do that. There you go, my good man. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I was thinking on my way out last night, maybe our professions aren't all that different, actually. <laughs> my man, if you're doing surgery and I'm over here, like, jamming a straw in a glass, I think we're a lot different. Well, I might be stretching the truth here a bit, but I told you uh, a bit if I told you I save lives for a living. No, I mean in the way uh, I interact with my patients and the way you interact with your customers. Also, we become acquainted with someone to uh, with someone to the point of being comfortable with having a casual conversation with them. Ah, yeah, that's true. And then after parting ways, they vanish, oftentimes never uh, to be seen again. I hope no one goes down in my... I hope no one goes down in my bar. What? I hope no one goes down in my bar. That could be a detriment to my reputation as a bartender. Uh, then you'd be lucky if I'm here. I'll always be glad to have you have a doctor at my bar, but I know what you mean. Sometimes saying goodbye is tough. Speaking of goodbyes, it's about time for me to call it a night. Okay, can I get you anything else? How about a martini dry? Thank you. All right, martini dry. This is another simple drink. This guy... Uh, like, historically, this man is actually uh, pretty easy to please. Oh, Rachel is back. Not her again. Good God. Hear her bitch about her, like, terrible job. Uh, it's like, I'm sorry. I am sorry you hate your job, but, like, get over yourself. You know, you're very mean to your employees. Get over yourself, right? There we go. Mix that in front of him. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. Put that in. Very simple. Martini dry, please. What makes a martini dry? You know what I mean? And then a nice little olive. Strawberries. We haven't even used strawberries yet either. There you go, my good man. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Bartender. Hey, welcome back. What can I get for you? Set me up with a gin and tonic, please. Sure. One gin and tonic coming right up. There we go. High baller glass. There. Fine. Absolutely. Add it. Hit me with the gin. 60 milliliters of gin. 120 on the tonic. Nope. Not, not satisfied. I'm satisfied. Hit me with the tonic. There we go. This is 120. And then we're going to need a lime wheel right after this. Lime wheel, lime wheel, lime wheel. And... Oh. I just want to be perfect. I do. I just want to be perfect every time I hit these things. I, I, like, I want to be really, like, spot on. There you go. 
What do you have to say today? Good one, thanks. How come I never meet nice people? Well, you met me. Do you want to change? <laughs> change what? Change your career? Change what you do for work? No, not really. I like my job. I could use someone like you. Someone I could trust. Someone that doesn't screw around. You want to work for me? I appreciate the offer, but I'm really enjoying what I do here. I could triple your salary. That's very tempting, but I have to kindly refuse. Dignity. Dignity. She likes what she does. She could get paid triple the amount, but hate her job once again. We're not doing that. But I always get what I want. Are you listening to me? Change is good. Change is exciting. Really, I appreciate it, but it's not going to work out for me. Can I get you something? You know what? Screw my life. What? <laughs> what? You just FML'd me because I refused your job? What? Who gives a crap if I raise gross revenue by 2% on the third quarter? <sighs> He'll just screw me over on the next quarter. It's important that you do a good job, though. You're important. Who cares about how important I am? I'd rather be in your shoes. Whatever. Just give me an incinerator. Whoa. One incinerator coming up? I don't think we've done the incinerator. She's really having a, uh, having a bad day. <laughs> All right. Vodka with 45 milliliters of... Yeah, 45 milliliters of vodka. Oh, damn it. Well, 48, I guess. 30 on the overproof rum. And then 45 on the creme de cresse. Cassé? Cassis? I, F me. 45. This is a strong drink, no? And then a small straw and then light it on fire. Shake it in front of her so that she knows. There you go. Fantastic. No garnish. All straw. All straw and flame. I guess you don't want to put garnish on something that's going to light on fire, huh? Nobody wants, like, roasted strawberries in their drink. There you go. There you go. There you go. This is going to be red, though. Oh, that's our first, like, red drink on fire. How cool is that? Sick. There you go. All right. Hello, Yasmin. Why, hello there, bartender. Hello. Welcome back. What can I get for you? I would love a pink lady, please. Sure. Come in right up. A nice little pink lady for the special f s kinky, <laughs> for the very kinky uh, flight attendant that I actually low-key would love to have as my flight attendant if we're going to be, uh, you know, uh, picking and choosing here. I will have to say, I don't think I've ever had a, and I, I fly I, I fly a lot, and I, I will say, I don't think I've ever had a flight attendant stand out where I'm like, oh, they are absolutely terrible. No, I, for the most part, I mean, they're... They're the most, flight attendants are one of the most personable hospitality jobs out there, right? Uh, you, you, you are really up in somebody's business and you are really up in somebody's face as a job and, and to take care of them and to hold their hand, right? Strangers all day. Yes, you get to travel the world, but you also like, you know, you also have to be right there. You know what I mean? There you go. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So, have you enjoyed your stay here? Yes, I have. I'd love to come back sometime, but uh, most of my travelers are de uh, dictated by wherever the airline sends me. Okay, I see. Uh, do you have a dream? What kind of dream? Uh, like a lifestyle you dream about having. A family to raise, a social circle circle to cultivate? Maybe. Maybe that's what's going what that maybe that's what's keeping me going. If you give if you were given the opportunity to live the life of your dreams for only 1 year and then vanish off the face of the earth, would you do it? <sighs> Personally, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like what I do here. Would you? No, of course not. Trick question. If you take that offer, then you're probably not enjoying your life as it is right now. Okay. Uh, is that something you ask every bartender? No. Most bartenders serve me and then go back to washing glasses or whatever. We have our duties. Yeah, I know, but most bartenders don't stick around for conversation. That's all. Uh, some customers don't like to chat. I do my best to read their personality. And that's a huge thing, right? That's a huge thing. That's a, that's one of the hardest things to do. Whether it be sales, hospitality, waitress, waitress, bartender, whatever it is. Reading a customer and making sure, are they open for conversation? Are they not open for conversation? Are they an introvert? Are they an extrovert? Will they talk to you? Will they not? Do they want to talk to you or do they not want to talk to you? That's a very hard skill to, to have. Oh, yeah? Uh, how would you describe my personality? Sociable, outgoing, breezy? Breezy? What kind of personality trait is that? Well, it means cheerful, carefree, I guess. Carefree? Okay, I'll have to consider the implications of the next time I'm evacuating an airplane full of screaming passengers. Look, 
You're the one that suggested and maybe uh, have done the Mile High Club multiple times. I'm just saying. You're free. <laughs> See? You're dynamic, too. Ever-changing. Can I change my drink, bartender? Why? Did you not like it? No. But I'm ready for one more, if I may. Okay, what would you like? I'll take an aviation. We haven't done that. A classic coming right up. An aviation? Oh, that sounds cool. Nice. New drinks. Continuing. Oh, there's Nora. Hello, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hit me with the gin, please. 60 milliliters of gin. No, no, no. Aviation. I wonder why is that, like, what the heck? Maraschino liquor? They have a maraschino liquor? Now they have maraschino cherries. Is this supposed to be like a cherry tasting liquor? Right? Am I, am I, am I saying that right? 15 on that? Lemon juice? This is a interesting one, no? And then a lemon twist? And then shake it in front of her? We don't have to light on on fire, do we? Do we have to light on on fire? No, I don't think so. This is a wonderful looking drink. We don't. What a cool drink. I really love that one. Nice. Aviation. Well, hello there, boss. Hello again. Welcome back. Staying the night again? No, not this time, but I'll have a drink anyways. What can I get you? Just a pale ale. All right, coming right up. She's always very quick and easy about it. She just wants a beer after work or something. I don't know. There we go. Send it up. And she usually tips very well on just a simple glass of beer. So I'm, I'm all for it. There we go. There you go, sweetheart. There we go. 325. Thanks. That's a good one. Uh, so how's the clientele been here? The clientele? Certainly interesting. Do you like it here? Yeah, I do. It's a nice place to work and the view's not bad either. You think? This is like an incredible view. How would you like to work somewhere hot? What? Hot? I'm taking a trip to one of my family's resort bars in the Caribbean. Hey, are we going to the Caribbean? And we have an opening for a lead bartender that I thought might interest you. That sounds amazing. I've charted a business jet so we can hop on tomorrow morning if you want. Really? I've never been on a business jet before. So, I take it you're not on board, or I say, I take it you're on board? Why, well, yes, definitely. Can I bring my cat to the resort? What's your cat's name? Frickin' Ninja. When do I get to meet Ninja? Hmm, maybe you can come visit sometime? Well, of course you can bring Ninja for your stay. I'll book you a beachfront suite. Meet me in the lobby tomorrow morning. We'll head out to the airport from there. All right, sounds good. Hey, how about one more? Sure, what can I get you? Give me a sea breeze this time. Very well. So, uh, yeah, everyone pack your bags up. We're heading to the freaking Caribbean. Uh, oh, Paige is here. <laughs> Maybe not yet. <laughs> Maybe not yet. All right, give me a little bit of vodka. 60 milliliters of the vodka, please. A uh, little too much. Not for the boss. We can't screw up for the boss, but we just did screw up for the boss. But Paige is here. Paige is going to tell us how much she hates her life and how her boyfriend just uh, is paying for everything. And she's traveling for free and absolutely doing nothing. Uh, you know, like, lady, if it's that bad, leave him. What, what do you want me to say? Leave him. If you want to be independent and you want somebody to, to, to pay attention to you as well as you should, as well as you, you, you deserve, leave him. You're going to be miserable. There you go. Four dollars up. Hello, Paige. Good evening, bartender. Welcome back. Can I start you off with something? Well, yes, I would like a highball. Sure, one highball coming up. There we go. How do we do that one again? We do a little bit of ice. Uh, pour that in there. A little bit of whiskey. Yes, yes, yes. 60 milliliters of whiskey and then a bunch of ginger ale. And that was pretty much it. That is all a high... Oh, God. That's all a highball is. That was actually spot on. I love that. I do like me some ginger ale. This is like my go-to drink. Not this drink, but like ginger ale. <laughs> ginger ale is my go-to drink whenever I fly uh, Whenever I fly on a plane. Like I said, my... Uh, you know, my stomach gets all churny and upset most of the time when I'm like vertigo, baby. That's it. That's all I got for you. There you go, Paige. Ah, thanks. This is really good. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. You know, just as I'm starting to settle, settle in here, it's time for me to go. Well, it was nice to see you tonight. No, I mean, it's the end of my stay here in the city. My boyfriend and I are going home tomorrow morning. Oh, really? Well, I'll miss having you as a customer. You say you're just settling in. I thought you didn't like staying in hotels. Well, usually I don't, but I feel like I've made a new friend, so there's that. I enjoyed your company. Not everyone likes to chat with the bartender. Oh, yeah? What are the customers like? There are probably no two customers quite the same. I even served a pair of twins at the bar I worked at, uh, but you would think they are one of the same, but they are two completely different people. Really? That must have been confusing. It was a little bit, yeah. 
Uh, hey, how about another drink? Sure, what can I get to you? I I'd like a gin and tonic, please. Okay, I can get that right for you. Gin and tonic, gin and tonic. Let's get it, baby. There we go. Give me some of that gin. 60 milliliters of gin. She's very simple. No, no, no. Perfect. Why don't you just stay here and you can, like, run away with me, Paige? You know? You don't need to go back home. You can stay right here. You know what? You can get a job. Actually, you know what? You can't stay here. Because <laughs> I'm going to the Caribbean and you are going where you're going back home. That's where you're going. You're not coming with me. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to the Caribbean after I'm done with my shift. There you go, Paige. Congratulations. Thanks for that. Yeah, you're very welcome. I'll have to get going soon. Our flight departs at 7 in the morning. Well, it was nice of you to stop by in the first place. Uh, do you like flying? Not really. I spend enough time in a hotel room. I guess flying in a metal tube just feels like the si same kind of extension to that. Uh, do you enjoy your stay? Did you enjoy, enjoy your stay here in the city? I've never fit in when I travel to big cities. So many people, but I feel more alone than ever. Uh, maybe the anonymity of being in a big city is a good thing. How so? My next customer can give me an awful tip and they can have the privilege of never seeing me again. You're funnier than my boyfriend. I'll give you that. If I come back to this bar a year from now, you might not be here. Maybe not. But if I do return, I'll still put my slippers on, walk down to the bar, and take a seat right here. If you're not behind the bar, at least I'll be thinking of you. Oh, watch out for the dress code, police. Oh, I will. Uh, I better get going now. How about one last drink? Okay, what would you like? A magic spell. Sure, absolutely. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> it is like low key. A little sad, right? Like, oh, you know, this one instant, this one moment, maybe a couple of days of your stay, and you'll never see us again. And that actually rings truth, of course. Um, there's been multiple people that I've met um, in real life, you know, when I'm not in town, when I'm, you know, either on holiday, vacation, you know, however you want to say it. Um, met some incredible people, and little did I know at that time in the moment, like, oh, yeah, by the way, this is the last time you'll ever see this person again, you know? It's kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird experience, right? Especially like if you like really, really like somebody and like you're like, they're super cool. Yeah, you can get their number. Yeah, you can text, but it's not the same because eventually it just falls off, you know? And this could go even if you're like a single person and you're like, oh, I met this guy or oh, I met this girl and she was wonderful, but our time together was only spent in that one existing week or one existing day or a few days and god damn it i would not be a good bartender because i can't apparently talk and like and and serve god jesus jesus take the wheel please but you know what i mean anybody ever had that experience where they like they met this wonderful person yeah maybe you got their number or maybe you didn't Maybe you didn't get their number because you were like, you know what? Maybe, well, <laughs> maybe you met this person before there were cell phones. Or maybe you didn't meet this person and you were always too, like, afraid to ask and be like, you know what? I don't want to seem like a weirdo. I don't want to ask. I don't want to be a creep. I don't want to ask for their number. Um, I'm having a good time right now as it is. Uh, I don't want to ruin this time, you know? And then, like, before you know it, they're gone. And they always just, like, they're just a stamp on your life from, like, they're, they're always a memory, like, oh, yeah, I used to know this person way back so-and-so, right? Don't serve it to her, you son of a bitch. Light it on fire, then give it to her. There you go. Anyways, that's our shit for today. Let's go to the freaking Caribbean, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready to get my Caribbean on. Now, I will change my outfit for the Caribbean. I will change my outfit for... Oh, we are here. The Chaser. Oh, look at this. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. Ninja. Yo. Double door action into the bathroom. That's silly. Ninja, what do you think about this? You're like one of the like the most like privileged cats of all time. Not a bad place to stay, right? To be honest though, the cat has like gone from house to hotel to flying in a plane to the Caribbean. Like I would have to expect like the cat is actually traumatized more than anything. But hey, we're doing well. Let's go into our apparel here and let's get ready for the Caribbean. So what, how would we dress for the Caribbean? Well, let's put on some shorts, right? We got to get a little... Oh, Jesus, Amy. All right. All right. I feel you, girl. Maybe change our shoes as well. Get some flat tops in there. Um, 
I guess for the bar, not the bar, sorry. For, yeah, for, well, that's not going to work. That's that's very basic. For the, uh, you know, for what we got going on here, the less is, is better, maybe? You know, for the Caribbean, not long sleeve. I think we were good on what we had. Yeah, I think this is good. Perfect. Like wearing a sweater out there is it? No, <laughs> we're not wearing a sweater out there in the in the wonderful weather. The whole point of it is more skin, baby. More skin. Caribbean beach, loving it, living it, wanting it. How the reviews go? Ended up here by accident. <laughs> the cocktails were good, but the friendly bartender was the highlight of my trip. Wish I could have stayed longer though. Um, like this, we, we, this doesn't do anything. Oh, you could still customize this even though it's not. Okay, I get it. All right, let's go gold for the Caribbean, I guess. Nice. Cool. Now this is a freaking train wreck. Get me. Uh, I need to go to bed, apparently. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Scoot over, Ninja. Coming in. Well, that's going to do it today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bartender Hustle. If you would like to see more, make sure to hit that like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Or we'll see what happens here at the Caribbean Resort. Do take care.